Hi there, this is Salman and you are watching Zeta Lasses. In this video, I have another phone. This is Vivo Y67. This is again pattern locked, so we have to bypass this pattern. You can see that if I try any random pattern, it's not going to work. To check the Vivo models, just open camera from the lock screen. From here, take any picture, click this icon. Now just click on this details icon. Here now you will clearly see that this is Vivo Y67. So, in order to remove this, it's a screen lock. Now just come to the Windows interface. In order to remove its pattern lock, we need a software that is MTK Client 2 version 5.3. It's free for everyone and it's working insane. So, we have to just extract this tool in the desktop. Double click on it, right click on it, click extract without confirmation so it will extract on this desktop without any confirmation so as we can say, as we can see that that it is extracted on my desktop just close this window our files now just open the tool now double click or run as administrator on this tool this is named as pos.x just right click on it and run as administrator now close this folder I will place all the links of this software in the description below. You can check the description and download from there. And if this software is not working in your windows, so just change the windows or either grab another computer and install there, it will probably work there. So just click on activate these ID and the key fields are already tied and just you have to click on this activate button. You register successfully, click OK. Now the tool is open. This tool is dependent, highly dependent on this USB USB DK driver X64. So we must have to install this first. Click on this, it will automatically install from here. This is a free tool from for all users because it's nearly a high-end free tool because it is removing the pattern lock and FRP locks from many of the high-end and newly new phones like oppo vivo realme and my xiaomi huawei samsung and techno phones now it install this usb dk drivers again install the mtk drivers from here just click here i am again installing it for you click ok it will install all the drivers i already did uh, install these softwares uh, so that's why it's not asking me for the qualcomm and mtk drivers it it's installed silently click ok click finish now just click here and device manager you do not have to type or find the device manager just click here device manager it will open automatically i am just managing on my screen so just click on this vivo and now just click on this vivo y67a y67l y67 now click on this factory set now come to the mobile here it's locked just power of this phone first now just grab your usb 2.0 cable as this mine now in the windows interface just click on it start now what you have to do is carefully look here it never performs anything while you do not hold this volume up and down button so because this software performs all the tasks is based upon the usb dk drivers not based upon normal usb vcom drivers those are specific to the mediatek because this vivo phone is a mediatek based phone now while holding this volume up and volume down button just insert the usb cable and within a minute it will do its task done i am doing this just press hold and press and hold this volume down and volume up button and insert the cable into your mobile phone and you see in the computer interface that it also got a usb dk driver the uk usb dk device in this device manager and also it is doing its perform uh, job and this software interface brom is connected uploading a stage 2 and all other stuff it's doing it's now 100 percent done yes as we can see that now it's formatting and it formatted completely uh, now we have to remove its frp because later we will encounter its frp so again close this tool again run this tool vivo y67 now this time click erase frp all mtk first remove this usb cable click on start button while holding pressing and holding 
volume up and down button simultaneously insert the usb cable now this time it successfully removed the frp2 now we have successfully done our job now just remove this usb cable and reboot this phone to normal first it will enter into the recovery mode from there we have to just click on reboot it is entering into the recovery menu wiping data please do not perform the reset so it wiped the data partition you can see here so it's showing the wipe data fail but it did its job so you have to just click ok just click back just click on this reboot system now after formatting it will take some time to land on the home screen so i am just fast forwarding this section to save your precious time i am just waiting for it to land so finally it landed on the home screen now i am finishing this setup okay finally well we landed on this home screen of this phone and we successfully removed the pattern of this phone and also successfully removed the frp of this phone so i will check the model of this phone as we can see that this phone is vivo y67 and also its imis are gone so in the next video i will show you how to repair the imi of this vivo y67 so that is enough for this video so i hope you got something new and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and just not only subscribe ring the bell so my friends you will never miss any upcoming tips tricks and advanced tutorials thanks for watching and stay tuned i will see you in my next one till then keep smiling